Yo, it's MG, and I'm in the spotlight. MG came from my original name, which was capital M, capital G, which derived from my last name, McGill. I thought that name was really plain, so I, I wanted to move on to something that shines a little bit more. So I spent like a month trying to figure out, you know, what's a dope name that's still gonna sound like MG, because people still called me MG at the time. Uh, and I ended up coming up with M-G-E-H-M-J-I, and just worked out like that. So I started music in high school, probably like 11th grade I started writing. Uh, my uncle had just passed and I was pretty depressed about it. So I started, I just started writing randomly and it just kind of progressed into something I did perpetually. You know, I didn't really get heavily into music until I heard Back to the Topic by J. Cole. And that's when I started kind of idolizing him and just respecting the lyricism and, and flow that he brings to the table. I didn't start taking it seriously until I dropped Vagrant, which was in 2016. Um, I showed it to my boys and it was just like a crazy reaction. And after that, I was like, well, I, I kind of love that. A after I dropped that, I got like 10K views the first week or so. So after that, I dropped VNV Virtues and Vices. From there, I kind of just kept trying to level up. I get writer's block so often. If I'm in a dark, emotional place, that'll inspire me. But if I'm just listening to a crazy beat, like it can take me right out of the funk of writer's block. Like I need to be listening to music all the time because I feel like I, I can be on par with some of these rappers that I'm listening to. So once I hear them, it makes me be like, yo, I need to start writing. My style is so unique. Um, I rap over crazy beats that you wouldn't think people will rap over. Like it's like EDM trap house type beats. It's weird, but I can go funky. You know, I, I can rap over boom bap too. Like it doesn't matter. Um, I'm super versatile in that aspect. I remember when I was up in LA, I talked to this one dude and I, I kind of described him my raps and he was like, oh, so it's like gold link, gold linky raps. And I was like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, yeah, like funky, funky raps. It, but it, it's always changing. That's the thing. Like my style is always changing. It changed. It's changed from V and V up until Point Man's Prince Charming up to the thing I'm about to drop next. I think hip hop is different when you think of it as a genre. Like there's so many subsidiaries of hip hop that you can't be put in a box. Like you have mumble rap on one side, which is an art of its own. Like I can't mumble rap, but you also have artists like Tyler Creator and Gold Link doing kind of funkier stuff, you know, crazy stuff. And then you have boom bap, crazy lyrics like Joey Badass. So I feel like there's so many different avenues you can take that you can't really be boxed in when it comes to hip hop. So, I mean, I love that about the genre. Yo, my song process is dangerous for real because I mean, you can ask anybody I talk to. I write like 80% of my raps when I'm driving. I don't know, I get my inspiration when I'm in there and just able to loop the beat and not feel the pressure of being in the studio and having to come up with something on the spot. And then once I'm in the studio, I'm very meticulous. I'm a perfectionist. Uh, you can ask my engineer Eastman. Uh, I'm really meticulous about my verses, about making sure I get every word and syllable correct. There's a lot of things. I, I don't pride myself on being the most lyrical artist at all, but I pride myself on feeling like I can rap on anything and give you a dope flow on it. I really love hearing from people that I haven't heard from in a while and have them reach out to me and tell me, yo, I, I loved your song. Like they, they have no obligation to do that. I would want my fans to know that I'm super passionate and I don't only make music for me, I make it for the people around me. I try to make music that will not only resonate, but uplift people. It's MG, and I'm in the spotlight.